Now, this was a subscriber requested video, and I really appreciate all the support from everybody, the cash app donations, the super chats, everything for real, even down to the live chats. You can't forget about those, you already know. But today we're gonna be looking into the death of Jada Grant, the daughter of Dayton basketball coach, Anthony Grant. Now the oddest thing about her death was that she died on Memorial Day, May 30th, but they didn't announce her passing until Friday, June 3rd. Jada died at the age of 20. She was a graduate of Chaminade Julian High School and was attending the University of Dayton as a member of the Flyers track team. No cause of death has been announced. And furthermore, the Greene County Coroner's Office said the cause of death is unclear and is still being examined. The family requested donations to the local National Alliance of Mental Illness, which indicates that she possibly took her own life. One of Anthony Grant's coaching buddies, Artie Cabrera, was quoted by saying, it's devastating, just devastating. Now I mentioned that they speak in code with these sacrifices. He was a prime example. It's just devastating, just devastating equals 101, just like Jada Grant. Another thing about her name is that it equals 38 like murder and killing. And like I already mentioned before, she attended Dayton at the time of her death. Dayton equals 83, just like murder. And we know how those 83s and 38s seem to pop up around mysterious deaths. Now, when you look at her full name, Jada Danielle Grant, that equals 73, just like sacrifice. Now, here's one of them that kind of got me. Her family asked for donations to be sent to the National Alliance of Mental Illness, which equals 120, just like the date numerology of her passing. And to go a step further, Illuminati equals 120. The coach that was quoted in the article, Artie Cabrera, his name comes out to 56, just like Dayton Flyers. Artie Cabrera also equals 101, just like Jada Grant. And Jada Grant equals 61, just like Dayton Flyers. None of this is by coincidence, I cannot stress that. And speaking of the number 56, Masonic Ritual equals 56. And Anthony Grant, coach of Dayton, the father of Jada, is currently 56 years old. What are the odds of that? Now, Jada was the second child that the Grants have lost. The previous was Brandon on February 6th of 1999, who was tragically enough an infant when it occurred. Now, as if this story couldn't get any more telling, it's noted that her obituary was released by H.H. Roberts Mortuary, which equals 98. She died nine months and eight days after her last birthday, August 22nd of 2021. So they, they put this one all over the place. She passed six weeks and three days after her father Anthony Grant's birthday, which was April 15th of 2022. The Illuminati equals 63. In the obituary, it says Daddy's Girl, which equals 167, just like Anthony Grant equals 167. And then when you peep the date numerology of May 30th, 2022, you get a date numerology of 120 and 150, just like Illuminati. I mean, that's no different than Alexis Skye's role in the ritual sacrifice of trouble, allegedly. Now, her death was also one month and 15 days after Anthony's last birthday, or 115. And we see that Masonic and Killing both equal 115. And here's one more. She died 45 days after Anthony's birthday, just like how this was a ritual. Ritual equals 45. And in typical 2022 fashion, the news article felt the need to mention that she supported the LMNOP. Of course, you gotta push that agenda. Now, LMNOP, you see the letters, equals 77, just like Flyers equals 77. And she died on a date with 77 date numerology. So in closing, being a head coach at this level or the next comes with a price. These coaches have to be in the brotherhood too. They don't want loose end coaches just out here. And if you can, peep the grip these coaches give each other before or after the game, whether it be football, basketball, whatever. Same with the players too, they do the same shit. And again, it's unfortunate that this young woman was involved in a situation like this. We hate to see when it happens to the children or people that aren't even really in that, you know, industry, sports, entertainment, whatever. So it really is unfortunate. So uh, rest in peace, Jada Grant. And we out.